Victoria, thanks so much for being here. So, look, we've got new home sales down, continuing claims the highest since 2021, suggesting that it's taking longer for folks to get a job who are looking. Is this moment the tipping point for the Federal Reserve, or have we already passed that? I actually don't think we're at the tipping point yet. I think we're getting there. I mean, if you recall what Powell's comments were after the first few months of this year when we were getting economic surprises to the um, to the upside, especially in regards to inflation, it took three months, right, for him to say that they were losing confidence in the path of inflation. So we've got a little bit of time here where things have been coming in weaker than expected. I don't think just a few reports and a few weeks' time is going to change the outlook for them at right now. But if we continue to see this, you know, uh, the continuing claims, the initial claims, those are great reads. The jolts number, I think, is something that the Federal Reserve is really watching. Those job openings, the quits number, those are the things that are going to really give them a feel for is the labor market weakening? And we know that that is the element they're watching right now. Is the labor market going to weaken enough to where it affects consumer spending. Consumer spending has been driving this economy so much um, with all of the stimulus that's been in play. So I think um, we're at the beginning of the tipping point, but we're probably not ready to call it that yet. Victoria, should we be placing more emphasis, or I guess is the more critical report, is it going to be that next jobs print rather than the upcoming inflation prints? You know, Shauna, it's difficult to say. It's the dual mandate, right? And it seems like the Fed kind of focuses on one or the other, um, depending on the stability of the numbers that we're seeing. So when they thought inflation was on a steady disinflationary trend, the focus was on the labor market. Then when we got surprise inflation numbers, the focus shifted a little bit. So when we look at the um, upcoming labor reports, I think there will be a lot of focus, like I said, on job openings, on job quits. Um, um, there's a lot of volatility that goes in just the, the monthly number and a lot of seasonality adjustments that fit in there, especially in the summertime. Um, so they will be watching elements of that. I think consumer demand, the sentiment, the confidence numbers are going to be something they watch. And obviously, the inflation component is going to be key, not just overall inflation, but we know it's that super core inflation that they're really watching. Um, so all of that is going to be important for the decision makers. Victoria, I want to get your take on the broader equity space because you put it out really plainly. You just say you can't stand in the way of the train. Given that you have to be in tech to some degree to bank on this market rally right now, where are you finding an edge? Yeah, so finding an edge might be a little bit difficult right now because there is such concentration in this market. I mean, you guys know that it's been five, six names that have really been driving all of their performance this year. I mean, NVIDIA alone is over a third of year-to-date performance for the S&P. Uh, the top five or six um, are closer to 75% of return. So you have to have exposure there. What we've been doing is trimming some of those names like NVIDIA as they have their runs, waiting for pullbacks because we know they're going to have them. NVIDIA had them this week. We saw some of the pullback there. So if you don't have exposure, you can um, have a chance to get in there. But look at some of those other tech names, maybe the, the less sexy names that are out there, right? Some of the IBM names, um, some of the other names that maybe are trailing a little bit on these um, top heavy names, but are still going to benefit overall. I mean, semis by themselves are the top performing sector um, year to date relative to the S&P. But I also think you need to broaden it out a little bit. Look at some of those more staple, more value names that you can have in your portfolio to help buffer some volatility that I think we'll have um, for the second half of this year. So whether that's healthcare, um, whether it's staples, like I said, or even with yields starting maybe to move up closer to a four and a half, if the Fed doesn't cut rates, you can add some financials in there as well. Victoria, anything that you've seen over the last several weeks, and even looking at today, the, the whipsaw action that we've seen with Micron, with Micron now under pressure, and actually the earnings results were pretty good. Has the narrative at all changed surrounding the AI story, given the selling that we had seen in NVIDIA earlier this week, and given some of the questions that we are seeing today following Micron's print? 
you know, Shauna, you're right. It is this whipsaw. And I think that's the struggle that we have here. If you go all in one way or the other, that can easily come around and bite you in just a couple of days. So I think you have to look at the AI story as being a longer term story, but maybe start to look at some of the secondary effects in terms of what are some of the other companies that will come along and benefit um, from the AI story? Look, whenever we have this much concentration for performance in the index, following that, it's those lower PE names that really do well. But the question is, how long does that concentration period last? And with AI, it seems we still have a ways to go. I mean, Micron, their earnings were pretty decent. It was just that the outlook was a little bit less. And these days, if you're not far surpassing expectations, your stock comes down. But let's not get it wrong. I mean, we're up considerably in Micron over the last 18 months. So a 5%, 6% pullback um, isn't going to be that detrimental. But I think you need to be cautious um, of putting all your eggs in one basket for just those elements.